so today I just wanted to show you um, a couple of simple modifications I've made to my lathe. Uh, it's basically a carriage stop and it's a uh, it's simply a piece of uh, mild steel a couple of holes drilled in there and then just a, uh, a piece of threaded uh, stainless steel M8 bar we had a couple of nailed sort of thumb screws one at the front one at the back and obviously that can be adjusted uh, a little brass um, well a little stop end there and uh, what I did was uh, I drilled and tapped this flat part of the lathe which is like a continuation from the from the main bed which obviously supports the headstock and uh, I, I drilled and tapped two M5 uh, threads in there and that simply bolts on there and as you can see it then acts as a as a stop which you, you can obviously adjust by uh, using these screws and it just comes up against the uh, the carriage and uh, well that was the first mod I did and I never really liked having to tap holes in this I don't like to sort of deface the lathe uh, but then I wanted to I wanted to build a, a indexing system and it meant me drilling more holes in it and, and I thought you know this possibly the not not the best way to go about this is to keep putting holes in the lathe so I came up with uh, just a very simple uh, metal bar really which is just becomes a, a sacrificial metal bar so that basically will clamp onto there and then I can drill as many holes in this as I like or you know if I change my mind or change something in the future I can swap this bar out drill the same two holes and, and then, then of course I don't have to put any more holes into the uh, into the lathe so um, this is a, just a piece of um, uh, 5 eighths by 5 eighths I think it's 5 eighths yeah 5 eighths and I utilized one of the holes which I'd already drilled and tapped originally made the second hole there it's um, it's this one's seven inches long and it fits just in between so that the uh, the actual activation lever there for the uh, for the back gear uh, it doesn't interfere with uh, but it, if you you know if you, if you wanted to make one that was longer you could just put a little notch out there uh, I know some of you use the uh, indexing back plate which has obviously got the index holes in and you could actually utilize that then as the uh, supporting bracket for your indexing pin um, I decided to index from the back and so all it does simply it's a couple of M5 uh, counter, counterboard screws so counterboard the hole so that the screw sits uh, nice and flush and uh, that just screws on there let me get the other screw like I say this is a piece of uh, 5 8 bar but the actual um, thickness of the of the steel which is uh, the headstock uh, support is uh, half an inch so you, you could use half inch I, I just used 5 8 because that was what I sort of had uh, knocking around in the in the scrap box and I just sort of um, square it up underneath so it's square up flush with the underside just to squeeze that down a fraction that's better and then of course once that's mounted on there it can it can stay on there really obviously you need to take it off to drill and tap your new holes and that then the original carriage stop that I made will now just uh, screw back onto there so again this time I opened it up to uh, M6 screws this time not that it makes any difference what size screws you use but yeah like I say that's just a piece of mild steel and if I just uh, well you can see so I can just set that so you know whenever I'm working if I bring into the to the stop point I want to be at you know I can I can then adjust that in or out by whatever amount I need and that just makes a nice stop and uh, when it's not in use it simply uh, winds out of the way 
Uh, the length of this bar I've actually got on at the minute is, uh, well it's 10 inches long. And uh, I also drilled a small hole uh, in the uh, cover here, which, um, so as you can see, it'll, it'll slip through there. So it comes out, out of the way, right out of the way of the lathe. Obviously not uh, so far that it will interfere with any of the uh, change gears at the back there, but you can simply just lock that off so it, you know it's not going to go anywhere. So there you go, a nice, nice simple um, carriage stop. And like I say, the, uh, the, other, the other thing I wanted to build for it was um, a simple indexing system. So I, I sort of build model steam engines, so often, you know, the uh, cylinder head covers and things like that, they, they need a sort of bolt hole circle uh, drilling. And um, so what I've built is this uh, spindle with a 60 tooth uh, Myford wheel on there and that's uh, it works in the same fashion actually it's an expanding mandrel so uh, this part here is turned down obviously to suit the internal diameter of your spindle hole and then there's a uh, tapered um, like little plug at the end so there's a bit of a taper on that and obviously a threaded uh, threaded bar which goes through and I've also I also made on this one a little um, a little slot for a keyway a little keyway in there. So obviously that stops that uh, rotating. So that just fits on there. The threaded bar. The pigeons are back out. The threaded bar just goes through, screws into the. There's a slot there if you see. So obviously as that gets pulled in when you tighten this up the taper expands that uh, piece of metal there in the slot and uh, it sort of locks itself inside the spindle so as you can see you, you tighten that up you use a spanner obviously and then so obviously I needed something to be able to index index that with and um, well this is what I came up with uh, it's uh, originally I, I built this um, little plunger system and uh, it was originally going to sit on top on top here and index off the off the ball wheel, uh, but I then realised that the ball wheel the ball wheel only had um, was 60 uh, 65 tooth ball wheel. For some reason I thought it was 64. I sat and counted them all. And I came up with 64, which meant that was sort of divisible. Uh, but actually, when I tried to use it, I realised it was 65, and that really only gives me um, well a bolt hole circle of. Uh, five or 13 so it, it wasn't particularly useful obviously a 60 tooth gear gives you a lot more options uh, you can obviously do well 60 hole uh, you can do a 30 hole 15 hole uh, 12 10 6 5 4 3 and obviously two uh, bolt hole circles or two index divisions um, so I re sort of purpose the spring loaded um, plunger there. It's basically just a turned piece with a, a spring inside uh, so it pulls back and pulls itself in and then there's just a slot sort of cut on the end there or shaped so it fits the fits the teeth of, uh, of your indexing gear and um, it was just cobbled together out of a few bits of steel out knocking around. It's got a little cut out there so it just sits over the top but as you can see it sits there somewhere it's in there of course it is. so you just align that up obviously has to tighten it up because the pressure on there I've not tightened that up yet so uh, but I, what I'm so uh, what I'm really trying to show you here is this uh, sacrificial bar which uh, allows you to do other things, mount other stuff, 
Uh, there might be other purposes for this yet, still don't know, but you can always drill and tap this wherever you want or change it for a different size thing or for whatever you're doing. It's just a useful um, little piece to, to have built for your lathe. And then all I'd do is uh, I'd tighten up the mandrel. And then of course you can index index onto the uh, the gear and that's uh, that's sort of sorted as you can see I've, I've put um, well they're marked at the moment in uh, 10 tooth divisions so that obviously that gives me six for a six hole bolt circle that I was doing uh, on a brass engine cover the other day and you you know you know you simply pull the plunger out rotate it around to your next position drop it back in drill your next hole blah 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 uh, rinse and repeat so there you go, a couple of mods I've done to my uh, Myford ML7 lathe. <laughs>